Hi everyone, I'm here to share my July design team project for Tsunami Rose Designs. This month I have used the Vintage Parcel Kit, uh, which is a travel themed kit. And travel is actually one of my favorite things to do, so I, I really uh, couldn't resist using this kit. Um, when I looked at the papers, there's lots of floral images and just really vintage and um, it just kind of it struck me that really it would be the perfect uh, journal kit to use if you were taking a trip to Paris. So I uh, uh, created this journal with that in mind, um, of course, uh, making sure it was it was vintage. So what I've used is some Seven Gypsies book covers here, and I've just um, added uh, this image, and that's a Martha Stewart um, metal piece, and then I've just stamped Paris here. Um, and then I had actually set this up to do a Coptic stitch binding, and then I remembered that I had seen some time ago now um, a tutorial uh, on YouTube uh, for someone who had made um, binding rings um, out of just wire. So I decided I wanted to give that a try and it worked out. So I just thought I, I would leave it like this rather than uh, do the Coptic stitch. So it's these rings are made from 20 gauge wire and I've just doubled that up. Uh, and then I've just added some beads here just to dress it up. And I just thought it was a, a different uh, a different binding technique. From my usual. So I'm um, going inside uh, and you can see this does this does lay nice and flat. Um, the beads just go down the middle. Um, so it is um, it's quite an interesting binding and if I can find the tutorial I will link it below as well. So uh, you can see uh, just starting off here um, the idea would be really that maybe these two have gone to Paris for their honeymoon or um, just for vacation, so uh, I thought this was a, a good way to to start the book, and and if you were actually going to use it, then just uh, write out um, just some details of the trip on the back of the tag, and then I have used throughout the kit, I've used the journal pages as actual journal pages, but then I've reduced some uh, and just put them in for extra uh, writing uh, sheets like this one, just with some lines on the back. Uh, and then others I have reduced significantly in size and used them as pockets uh, or as journaling cards. So I'll show you that throughout the book as well. So a really versatile kit, really easy to resize the papers uh, to match the project that you're doing. And so I've just done a, you know various stamping and so on. I've added some uh, just some images of Paris that I happen to have. Um, just a tag with some stamping and then I've also included from uh, Daisy's uh, ephemera kits as well she had some French ephemera so I've included that and then you can see how beautiful these these pages are and really it was my inspiration for this for this uh, kind of Paris themed travel book and again more of the um, French ephemera from Daisy's kit. I've uh, included some coffee dyed divider tabs as well that I've just stamped and added some uh, some trim. Um, I've added a pocket here uh, just with just with a tag, and then this is um, die cut from the the kit, and I've I've used it as a as a pocket as well. Again, more images that I had on hand. And then these these things, uh, this was from Daisy's kit. I've just made it into a pocket. Uh, that's from her kit as well. And I've just added some stamp tags and just some ephemera that I had to go along with it. And some trim. And then I've just added in some other kind of Paris themed paper that I, I had in my stash. And just a postcard, a French themed postcard that I've added. and printed some lines on the back and added some stamping. Glassine bag that I've coffee dyed. This is from Daisy's kit as well and it's a great um, journaling space. And just a rub on there. And this is the actual size of the journal uh, and some great space here to add some 
maybe some pockets or add some pictures of your trip. And I've backed everything with some lined paper. And just a glassine bag. I've coffee dyed and I've added a tag. And again, really significantly reduced the size of one of the journal pages and added that to the front. And that's just a French letter that I've uh, reduced in size and using it as a journaling card. Just an image of the city and some trim here. This is from the kit as well. This is one of the pages that I've just cut into a pocket. Added the little airmail tag from, from the kit. Um, again, I've cut that from one of the journaling pages with, with a die that I have and added some journaling lines. Again, this is part of the kit. Uh, and then I've added some lines on the back um, for the little journaling booklet there. And an envelope uh, with a little Paris map as a journaling card inside. And then on the back of this, again, I've um, reduced in size the one of the journaling pages and I've added it to the back of the envelope and left it open for a tuck spot. And then thought this was a great place to add a picture or do some journaling um, uh, there. Just some stamping here. And then again here, uh, it was just an image that I happened to have and cut from the kit in one of Daisy's postcards, or rather library cards. And you can see here, this is a significantly reduced um, two-page spread from the kit uh, and I've reduced it in size and using it as a pocket and then I've just added and that's on a journaling card as well or sorry rather a dividing card uh, and then I've added just a metal plate up at the top there and again this is um, ephemera uh, from one of Daisy's um, ephemera kits And on the back, just space to write or add a picture. Again, um, these are from Daisy's, Daisy's kit and just some journaling lines on the back. And again, image of Paris, just with the tag. And more of that paper I had laying around. And this is, of course, from the kit. Um, and then a couple of little tags. And that was from the kit as well. Another one of the library cards. Sorry, I think I've moved that. And then in here, I've just added some stamping, a little envelope, and then um, this is also from the kit. I just put some journaling lines on the back. Another postcard, and then I've made a tag here uh, with a bit of stamping and some just some things that I've added that I've cut out from the kit as well. And then stamped it for some journaling there. Again, these are pages from the kit great place to add some photos. And just a little bit of extra paper I had around again. So the little airmail envelope that I had. Um, this is from the kit and then inside a little journaling card again. Um, I've done some stamping on that and that's from Daisy's kit as well. And Glassine bag that's open at the back. I've just added a tag. And this is just a little envelope. I haven't got anything in that. But I've just got some extra journaling cards there as well. And on this page, um, this is, of course, a page from the kit. I had this fabric that had some French um, stamping on it, so I've used that as a belly band. And then this is from Daisy's kit as well, her ephemera kit, and I've just um, put that in for some extra journaling space. 
And then a little envelope, and I've got uh, one of the pages reduced there with some lines on for journaling. And then same here, picture of the Eiffel Tower. And then this is from the kit as well. I thought they were great journaling cards. And of course another divider with a little bit of trim on it, a little lace pocket. And then it's from Daisy's kit. And of course this is as this is as sorry, dropping things. This is as well. And I've just um, folded it for some extra space and then a little tag that I've just done some stamping on. Um, goodness, sorry, I'm having trouble with this page. Uh, and this is um, more French ephemera from Daisy's Ephemera Kits. Another image of Paris. A little postcard tag there. And another journaling card from one of the pages that I reduced in size. And then from the kit, and you may remember that image from further back, I, I reduced it to about that size um, to use as uh, a pocket. And then we're getting to the back of the book, and I've just left it blank and just done a little bit of stamping there. So that's um, my project for this month. Um, I thought it was just a different way to show um, the vintage parcel um, collection. I had originally thought to do just a typical uh, travel journal, but then decided that um, I really wanted to do something a little bit different. So this is what I came up with. Um, you really should run over and check out uh, Daisy's shop. She does have a, a sale going on right now and uh, you can pick up um, some great kits um, for really reasonable prices. So thanks for watching everyone. I will speak to you soon.